In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to read the Japanese candlestick. If you are a new beginner, if you are a new trader and you do not know how to read charts or how to read candlestick patterns, then this video is for you. Okay, so this is actually an extract from uh, the free day trading guide that I've created for you. So actually, if you do not have this, you can actually download it uh, in the description below, right? Just find the link below and download it. But let's get into today's video. Okay, so what is a candlestick pattern and how does it work? Okay, so a candlestick pattern looks like this. Okay, you can see uh, the picture over here. Okay, so basically it consists of four points. Okay, you have the open, you have the close, you have the high and the low. Okay, so... When you have a candlestick like that, um, you can only have two outcomes, right? You can only have a bullish candle or you can have a bearish candle, okay? So, um, in the case of a bullish candle, then obviously um, the closing price, you can see over here the closing price has to be higher than the opening price. That means that uh, the price when it opens at, you know, for example, a dollar and it closes at $3, uh, it closes higher and therefore that is a... Uh, bullish candle okay in the case of a bearish candle well the opposite is true uh, you have the opening price maybe the price opens at three dollars and it closes at one dollar okay so when that happens uh, you have a bearish candle okay so the open and close price is actually the body of the candle so you can see over here that uh, I, I wrote this is the real body okay so that's how you read the uh, you know this candle but of course you have the what is known as the upper shadow and the uh, lower shadow okay um, the upper shadow means the highest price that uh, you know price has actually went for that period okay and the lower shadow means refers to the lowest price that price has went uh, you know during that period Okay, so you can see over here, I actually talk about it, the highest price for that period and the lowest price for that period. Okay, so one thing to note is that uh, a candlestick, right, applies to a time frame. There's always a time frame tag to the uh, candlestick. So for example, if you're talking about a H4 chart, this means that uh, this entire candle represents four hours of movement. Okay, so in that four hours, the highest price was this level and the lowest price was this level. The price opened at this and at the end of the four hours, it closed at this price. Okay, so you must understand that uh, candlestick patterns are uh, kind of uh, is time sensitive in that sense, right? Um, it, it, it depends on the time frame they are looking for. So a H4 candle and a day one candle will look different. Um, of course, the opening price for the day, for example, if your candle opens at uh, 5 a.m., then the opening price of the day candle will coincide with the first uh, H1, right? H1 candle, okay? Now, that might sound a bit confusing for you, but not to worry, okay? I think uh, as you go along, as you go along, uh, you begin to understand this. But actually, this uh, picture over here kind of explains everything. Okay, if you need further clarification, okay, please comment down below. I'll be happy to address it. Okay, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Okay, and make sure you download a copy of this free day trading guide. Okay, as you can see over here, um, we do have a lot of, uh, it's pretty comprehensive. Right, we have uh, all the uh, table of contents here and we also teach you a free day trading strategy that works. Okay, we give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. Okay, give, go into more in-depth about what is a candlestick pattern, how does it work. So if you've not read this, make sure you download a copy of this. Okay, any questions, just comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.